Hey everyone, my name is Amber. I'm a potter creating art in a little backyard studio in the Piedmont of North Carolina. And this is my pottery mold adventure. I'm about to open the kiln. This is the last like fall summer load. Um, after this, I'm gonna start dabbling in fall because <laughs> I have so many ideas. Um, but this is the last of the stuff that I'm bringing to my little like market booth that I'm setting up. So I'm really excited. I have so much work ahead of me to start getting my booth actually like set up. And so I've really just been like glazing, glazing, glazing. <laughs> so anyway, let's open it up. Okay, I see some good things right off the top. Um, I haven't even peeked this time. This is my first look. Um, and there's some ice cream cups, a casserole dish, um, a unique kind of like kitschy bowl. Um, yeah, there's just like some different things in here. So I'm excited to share them with you guys. So let's do it. Let's start with some ice cream cups. Okay, these turn out pretty cute. There's one spot on this that had a little, a little crawl, which is sad, but look, they're so cute. So I did a mold video using this mold and I loved what I made in that video. So I'll link that so you guys can check it out if you want. Um, but these are really cute. Okay. So for this one, I did like a little bit of different things. Okay. Let me try to remember. So I did two layers of flux at the top and then in these centers right here, I did opal luster all around the centers. And then I did the sapphire float just on the little flowers, which is cute. And then I did raspberry mist all over only, or two coats. So two coats of opal luster, two coats of raspberry mist, and then flux at the top. And I think they're really cute. And then on the inside, I did a watered down hyacinth. Um, and right here at the rim, you can really see the hyacinth and the flux. That looks really pretty. The inside is a little dull. Um, I wish I would have done it a little bit more colorful since it's like for ice cream. I really like how the opal luster and the raspberry mist um, you mix together. It's just got like a really pretty look. So I just thought like how cute for like a little set of ice cream um, for the summertime. And they like stack so cute. Like, I just feel like they're going to look really cute um, in, like, the cabinet. Or, like, you know, if you're having, like, a little set of ice cream. I just popped these in. I already, these already came out. But I had forgotten to glaze the inside. So I popped my previous salt and pepper shakers, which, oh, I also have new salt and pepper shakers in here as well. But I glazed the inside. Oh my gosh. I'm so excited for this. Oh no, there's a little pinhole. Oh, I feel like there's always something that goes wrong. It's sad. <laughs> With my casserole dishes, something always goes wrong. It's very sad. Um, but there is a little bit of like pinholes on here. Um, just like a couple little ones. Okay, so this is one of my favorite molds the speckled cotton tail at the bottom and at the top and then I kind of did the color all in the center and I used a lot of glaze chips um and this is rose quartz and raspberry mist and then rose quartz again and then there's um I did two layers of flux kind of like where they meet um is what I did and then I did the little glaze chips um on there which kind of gave it like a really fun little effect. And then I just did blue, my blue heaven on the inside. So I'm happy with this one. I feel like the little pinholes are a bummer and I don't love the inside. I think that using stroke and coat 
by Mako, which is what the My Blue Heaven is, is a good thing to use because there's so many fun things you can do with the stroke and coat. Like the um, speckled cotton tail that I use all the time is speckled stroke and coat, but the plain colors look so streaky. Like this is like three coats of it. Um, and I was thinking that it would look really kind of like thick because the speckled cotton tail does, but um, I just think that I would like to layer something else on top of the stroke and coat, like in the future. <laughs> so anyway, this turned out really pretty. I like it. I've been really excited about this one. Oh, the bottom of the casserole. Let me show you before I show you. So I did the Bible verse like I always do, but I drew like a little scene on the bottom which I really like. I think it's so pretty. So this one says, therefore do not worry about tomorrow for tomorrow will worry about its own things. Sufficient for the day in its own thing. Matthew 6, 34. But like, I think I really like drawing like a little scene more than I like drawing just like the random sketches. One of the things I like to do the most is hand build like little scenes. <laughs> I have done so much of this um, in the past, but I haven't done any recently, but I just kind of, this bowl was a little bit like weird. Like it almost felt like it needed like a lid or something. I don't know what this mold, this was a new one for me that I tried. Um, and I just felt like it was really weirdly deep. And so I put two little swans in there so that it was like they were swimming. And um, the blue in the bottom did not turn out exactly like I thought. Like it's a very like not blue pond, but I mean, it looks okay. I put two layers of flux down there and a lot of layers of different shades of blue. So um, I don't really have an exact recipe for the water, which I'm glad cause it didn't turn out that great. But um, the swans are just like, the speckled cotton tail and then um the inside and the outside are um two layers of flux two layers of opal luster and two layers of raspberry mist which i just that combo is really really good they look so good together um so i did that almost like a sunsetty view and i think i would put this back in there and do like a lot of the sapphire float around the swans because they just don't look like they're swimming on water <laughs> which is a bummer it's a little bit of a miss um but here's the bottom um I did guard your heart above all else for it determines the course of your life proverbs 4 23 and so I did like the little flowers around so I like that I think that that looks really pretty so I might keep doing that okay here's the next set of ice cream cups this one is cuter like this is really pretty okay so we have Himalayan salt and micro pearl on the outside um Himalayan salt micro pearl at the bottom and then I did some flux around the top but like these are just like really dainty and pretty and you can see the texture and the detail of the little like image on there so well it came out so crisp and clean and then on the inside I did two layers of raspberry mist like it's so pretty and even the raspberry mist turned out really pretty I mean, I don't know, they're just very, I'm, I'm usually a more colorful than this person, but like, I don't know, these are really pretty. I really like these. Definitely worthy of a scoop of ice cream. Okay, we have a bigger swan planter, which I'm super excited about. I've been really excited to try this one for a while since I found it. Okay, so this is the same as the ice cream cup. I did Himalayan salt and micro pearl on the outside. And then right here we have um, Mako's tuxedo and then cinnamon ripple on the nose. But this is just really, really beautiful. There's a lot of like really good 
details with like it's like you can almost see a little hints of purple which is really just I guess the Himalayan salt the little pinks in that coming out but I think that this turned out really pretty and then on the inside I did that watered down hyacinth and then I did a lot of speckles along the edge but you can't see very many of them which is funny um, the glaze chips and then there's like a tiny crack right there which is a bummer but at the same time I really love this like this is beautiful <laughs> like I kind of want to keep it for myself but I also kind of want it to be at my booth but it has a little crack I don't I'm torn I know I can make another one two more things on the top shelf two mugs let me show you <laughs> okay these are these turned out good I was nervous but they turned out really good oh, I'm so excited okay so um we have this mug with like little seashells that I drew in or I carved in while it was still clay and then I did um there's two layers of flux up here and then down here I did um Himalayan salt around the little seashells can you see them I feel like they're a little hard to see <laughs> um but I did the seashells in the bottom and I just did a couple, I think I did pink blush and speckled cottontail and then I did speckled cottontail on the bottom. And then I did opal luster and, um, what was it? Sapphire float. That's really pretty perfect for summer. And then we have this one which I like even more. <laughs> this is so pretty. Okay, so I did a lot of different colors. I did green stone, I did opal luster, and I did sapphire float. And I put them on like with my finger and smears. And I really like how that looks. And then I did larger seashells um, on the bottom. And I did the um, Himalayan salt around them. But look at the way that those colors are mixing. That's really, really pretty. And the way that you get like the little bit of white from the flux, it's like, it's so watery. I love it. And I love how it's dripping down. Ooh, this one turned out really, really pretty. I really like that one together. Those are cute. Like they could be a set. They're kind of like, you know, not 100% matching, but oh, this one's really pretty. It's beautiful. I like this one. Okay, that's all of the top shelf. So let me go down to the bottom. Oh my gosh. So good. The second shelf stunning <laughs> i'm so excited okay the second shelf is so good okay no it ran onto the thing it ran onto the kiln cookie <laughs> so sad okay well this is really pretty um this is like my current favorite combo um green stone and rose quartz together um, and then I did a little bit of speckles at the top with some flux. The flux only went to about right here and then I did the speckled cottontail at the bottom, but for whatever reason that ran all down to the glazed cookies, which is such a bummer. But these are so pretty. Oh my gosh, these are really pretty. Like I love those. I'm happy to report <laughs> that the second set did not run down and they're really pretty too. Okay, so this is Raspberry Mist and Rose Quartz with Flux and then Speckled Cottontail along the bottom. And then I did Glaze Chips at the top, which I kind of wish I wouldn't have done, 
but it's fun still. I like the glazed chips. But these are really, really pretty. And they kind of remind me of fall as well, which is kind of nice. Um, but they also kind of are like a sunset. So <laughs> that's fun. I wish I wouldn't have done the glazed chips on this one. There's some fails in this batch, but also some wins. I don't know. It's mixed. <laughs> it's mixed today. And then here was the other set from the first batch. Just put these back in there, which they melted down like a little bit more, actually. They kind of like melted some more, which is still pretty. They were maybe prettier before. But these are from my first count on load, if you want to go back and look. I'm so mad. Okay, so I guess when I was putting my little stilt on, I had it on the side and then it moved. So now the stilt was stuck to it. I'm so upset. <laughs> Okay, well, this is the last of my summer cottages. <laughs> this was the, the bakery cottage with the blue lid, which of course is not going to go on now. So, but the bottom turned out really cute. I had done like a little scallop around the side. Um, so yeah, these molds are really cute because they're like cottages, but they're boxes. Um, I've showed them a couple of times now. Um, and I really like them. Like I have a lot of plans for them. I'm just really upset that I did that. I spent a kind of a long time playing Tetris. <sighs> Getting these all in here. You win some, you lose some, I guess. <laughs> I know I can fix it. I know it's fixable, but it's just a bummer. Um, okay, this is really pretty. So this is a mold that I haven't shown before or used before. And I'm afraid that it's not really going to be in rotation because it was rough. <laughs> like this mold was struggling to be a mold. Um, it just is so old that, and it's been well loved and used and it's just, it's not the best. Um, but I liked the shape and I liked how it looked a lot. And so... Um, this one has sapphire float and then green stone and then um, speckled cottontail with glazed chips in the middle with, with flux where they meet in the center. This is really, really pretty. Like, I really like this one. This is a win from this kiln unload for sure. That combination is really pretty and it, it still has such a beachy vibe, which is so great because my first, like this whole full first collection was just, you know, very seashells and ocean and yeah. So that one was really good. We have another one of my little casserole dishes. My, my daughter calls it a lemon. <laughs> She's like, oh, you did another lemon. So I kind of am going to lovingly call it a lemon dish. Um, this one turned out really pretty. This is a really good thing to be almost finished with the kiln unload. There's only one more like item in there. I can't wait to show you, but, um, this is maybe one of the best of the lemon dishes. Um, so I did all greenstone over here, which greenstone by itself, look at that. Okay, greenstone is like maybe my favorite glaze right now. <laughs> That's so pretty. And it's like slightly matte, but also really smooth. Oh, that is so pretty. I think that might be. I've been trying to decide. I'm going to make a set of dishes for myself. And I would love to make a video of the whole like journey, um, kind of like a vlog of making all the dishes for my own house. Um, let me know if you guys would like to watch that, but I think green stone, I've been playing with so many things, thinking of ideas, what I want. And I think green stone might be the winner. So pretty. Um, and then I did, I believe this was lavender mist with speckles, which lavender mist always turns out brown. <laughs> for me, um, for whatever reason, but it works for this one because it's like the ocean. That is so pretty. 
Oh, I'm proud of that one. There's lots of good here. Lots of mistakes to fix here. <laughs> lots of good, lots of mistakes. I don't know. Such a mixed kiln on load. Okay, last thing. So in my last one, I had these little like ring dishes, these little like prayer stones that I made. My 14 year old was coming to see my pottery. So sweet. Um, okay, so I made these like little ring dishes and they were with like a speckled clay and I really liked them, I hand built them. But this time I decided to try to use some of those cutoffs of my molds and try it on this clay. So I don't know the glaze combinations for any of these. They just were like what was left over on my paintbrush. Like whatever was left on my paintbrush, I just scraped it on there. So, <laughs> so we have like lots of them. And I'm gonna need to like sand the back so they're a little smoother because the back side is just rock clay. And then the inside. Look how cute. This is really cute. So it's just like a combination of random stuff and it'll sit just like a little bowl <laughs> to put your ring in. And then the back is just like you know, smooth. So it's just like a little dollop of something cute. Um, it's fun to kind of think like, oh, which, which glazes are these? But so anyway, that's the kiln on load. Thanks for hanging out with me. This was a lot of fun. Um, I have a lot of work ahead of me taking things off of the kiln cookies and getting them ready for my shop, um, my little booth. So if you have any tips, the best video for figuring out how to do that, please send it my way. The next video is going to be the vlog of me setting up my market booth and I'm so excited. So I <laughs> hope you guys are too. Um, but yeah, thanks for hanging out with me and I'll see y'all in the next one. Bye.